Hey, this is Mass X with a brand new One Punch Man, the strongest video. And well, we know now how we're getting Garu. He's coming in the wheel. We don't know the exact date, but we have to venture to guess it's going to be probably the third week of the month. So let's talk about this character and then we're going to talk about the ramifications about this. First off, the skill kit for Garu. He's a single target DPS, breakthrough trigger, follow up, stun removal, specialized guard. He's a grappler, martial artist, basic 4 hit single target, 120% attack, ultimate 5 hit single target, 950% attack. When Garu crits, will trigger breakthrough condition, ignores normal and special unyielding effect, can trigger once every attack. His passive, after any unit moves, Remove own stun condition. After any ally moves, Garu will perform follow-up based on 50% of ultimate damage to a random enemy that has a breakthrough condition up to two times per round. Awaken passive at the start of match, Garu obtains two times unyielding effect based on 50% max HP. Once unyielding effect is reduced, Garu activates specialized guard effect, 800% of attack, Absorbs incoming damage up to 1,500% of original max HP. Removes extra HP effects. His Ultra Ultimate Single Attack 950% goes to 1,200%. Breakthrough can trigger without crit. Heal up to 50% HP once breakthrough is triggered. Extreme Passive follows up damage goes to 60% versus 50%. His 5P Passive follow up damage goes to 70%. His Awaken 2, once allies under unyielding special unyielding condition is expired, Garu obtains 100% of own max HP specialized guard max 3 times per match. Pretty freaking sick, right? Gear, pure attack. What would you expect? This is a pure DPS. So you are basically looking for attack, attack percentage, period, nothing else. Same with the buff gear, attack, attack percentage. You can go with crit and of course you can go with damage rate. So why would you even care about this character? Well, super high single target ult. Pretty simple, right? Pretty obvious from going through everything. A 950% attack and 1200 with KS, um, it just pummels everybody else. Um, crit's trigger breakthrough, which is great for countering the current core we're using, the Gera core, um, as well as units with unyielding. Follow-up, always nice to have. Stun removal, always great to have. Tanky, because he has that self-specialized guard, always a good thing. He's really a main PvP unit though. He can be really good at PvE, but yeah, his major shining area has always been PvP. He does counter Atomic Samurai, probably his biggest pro right now. Since um, Atomic Samurai with his KS increases unyielding state plus one, the Garu plus instantly just removes the unyielding effect, period, end of story. So yeah, they basically are foes on the field. The cons, Oc2 and KS. Pretty much what I say every time, but it's true. Grapple slots are very competitive, especially if you pulled for Gogetsu just now. Um, DSK Plus will be upcoming. Yeah, it is what it is. Grappler space is tough. Pretty much, that's really it for his cons. He just, he doesn't bring much utility to your team. He's really just a pure DPS single target basically think of him as an assassin type character. Now he's coming in the wheel and I'm sure people have concerns about this because it should have been Phoenix Man and it probably should have been next month. Um, my take on this, take it for what it's worth, is I don't believe they're trying to speed up SSR pluses. What I do believe they're trying to do is just find any means possible that they can bring a little bit more money into the game. So what does that mean? Well, let's go ahead and start releasing the wheel more often. They already did a rerun of King, okay? That just ended not long ago. Now we're getting another wheel that's gonna have Garu. They probably thought, hey, Garu's a fan favorite. Maybe they'll sell better than on the banner. Let's go for it. Then, six, I mean, 60 days from now, they'll release another wheel. Maybe it'll be Phoenix Man, like, and then Phoenix Man really isn't that pushed off too far. 
it's really not increasing anything that much. Um, and as long as they don't use core characters or characters that are indispensable, like your CKs um, at the time that character came out, etc., I don't see a big issue with it if they're just trying to find another revenue stream that's more consistent. So, yeah. Would it have been nice in the backup stick? Yes. Did anybody really believe they thought that would happen? No. If you did, um, yeah, you need to go back to school. So yeah, Garu in the end, because now being in a wheel makes it very easy for your free-to-play players and your light spenders. Gogetsu and Garu are probably going to be hard skips. Well, of course Garu is, it's going to be in a wheel and if you're free-to-play. And allow you to save up because you're going to have flashy flash coming and other characters coming that you may decide you want to get because they're more important to you so yeah so i don't think it's a big deal i don't see why anybody would complain and cry over garo being in the wheel because he's definitely not essential by no means fun character to play but not essential so to me this is a hard skip for most, and people that even spend may skip on this, marrying on how they feel currently at the game and what their feeling is for wheel. Um, for me, King was an easy choice, but not so much with Garu. So, with that as always, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. Have a great day.